everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to introduce the admin roles for Magento Commerce, formerly known as Magento Enterprise or EE Enterprise Edition. Um, so the admin roles here is slightly different from the Community Edition or what we call now open source, uh, in which you have a few more a few more options. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit about it. So first of all, what are admin roles? So admin roles are the type of roles, the type of pages you can access as an administrator in what we call the Magento backend. So what you can see now on the screen is the Magento backend. Um, so roles in general will control which types of pages, which elements here, if you can, uh, can you see the sales, the orders, uh, can you process uh, or manage products, etc. Can you see customers? So anything that's in here, any one of these pages has a role that you can check box and specify for a specific user, those users, once they log into the backend, they can actually manage, view, and work on these things. So let's look at it a little bit. Uh, so first of all, you want to go to system and you want to go to roles, okay? So roles will decide which users can access which things. So let's add a new role right here. And I'm going to name the role the name I want. So let's just call it limited, or let's just call it a role just for customer service, okay? And uh, once you do a save, you're going to have to retype in your actual password. And this is the pa this is verifying that you have rights. Once you logged in, you have to retype your password in to verify you have the rights to actually add a new user. So now I go to the role resources, and what you're going to do is you're going to do two things. First of all, you're going to do scope. Scope, what that means is you'll be able to select which stores, websites, and store views can this role access. So this part itself is exclusive just for commerce, just for enterprise. And the one below, the resources, which is, uh, these are the, the checkbox of the pages on the left, are uh, both in the open source and commerce. Okay, um, so here I'm going to select, for example, I only want, let's say, these two stores these two websites to control. This one I don't want this specific role to have access to, right? So obviously you can do all, okay? Then I'm gonna select, for example, before if you remember, we called it customer service role. So for example, customer service would need typically uh, everything for customers and most likely some elements for sales, right? I can select everything or I can only select, for example, orders, right? Orders, etc. Um, now, in orders, there's a few more settings for your your role. So you can, for example, allow them not to cancel, right? So they can view, they can edit, but they can't cancel. Okay, so you can, obviously, you can select different types of roles that can be done. Um, so here, for example, I selected customers, I selected sales, and let's just say that's it for now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I save this role. And now I need to associate a role to a specific administrator, a specific user that can log in. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to system and I'm going to go to all users and I'm going to create a new user. Okay, and I'm going to create, and let's say the user login, let's just call it CS for customer service. And I'm just going to just name it customer service. And just going to put in the email and I'm going to put their password. Okay, so this is just a temporary site, so we can do that. Um, is it active or not? What is the language? You have to retype in your password again, right, to verify you have access. And then under role, you're going to select which role, which pages, which elements can they control on the left. So I'm going to say here, customer service. I'm going to save that user. Okay, and now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open an incognito window right here. I'm going to try to log in. Okay, so CS is my username as a customer service. Okay, and I'm logging in. So now what you can see is this customer service agent only has access to order related and customer related. So this is the role that we set up. That's it. They can't assign, you know, they can't create new users. They can't view other things that are not relevant. Uh, that's pretty much it. So again, um, let's look at one more thing. So th this is kind of the concept. It's very, very easy, very, very simple, right? So let's create a new customer right here. 
Okay, great. So if you remember, uh, in the roles, we assign the scope. So here you can see I only have access to two websites out of the three that this store test or this test store has. That's it. So hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help.